you know, real estate is an awesome vehicle. I know many people who invested in real estate have a financial freedom for themselves and for their family. I really want to invest in real estate. But you know what? I don't have enough money or I don't have enough knowledge or I don't have enough time to spend on investing. If this is your situation, then this video is for you. You have to watch till the end because I'm going to give you how to overcome these challenges because I know many people have these challenges and I did too when I started. Like, you know, I was working full time and I had so much financial stress and I did overcome. So I'm going to share all the things that I have done and what you can do in order to get your first property or get multiple properties. Stay tuned. Namaskar, Adavar Sev, Wanakam, good morning, good evening, what's up everyone? Hope you guys staying home and safe. You know, these are the times where you can spend time with your family, you can learn new skills. You know, my dad is learning certain new things. He's learning how to cook different type of, you know, food items So that he loves. So these are the times where you can learn new skills. And these are the times where you can, you know, improve quality in your relations. These are the times where you can utilize to improve your business or your job skills that you need to get it to the next level. So with that, uh, today I really cover certain challenges that I have noticed that stopped many people from getting into real estate, getting started in real estate investing because you know those are really genuine reasons if you don't know how to overcome them then you might be just procrastinating on investing but the secret with real estate the sooner you start investing the better because the money will start working for you rather than you working for money forever so if you want to work for 90 years till 90 years you don't care about you know other uh, financial options that available for you then this is not for you you know what stop the pause and go do whatever you you're doing if you love what you're doing and if you don't want to think about financials that's awesome you know everyone cannot be like that at least i'm not if you're not then you know i understand so i'll go over the situations I, i'll go over the reasons that are really um you know what many facing it and also i'll share how you can overcome them so the first reason that many 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 people caught up with is you know what i don't have money yeah that's a real genuine reason because we are living in a freaking consumer world you heard it right really it's a freaking consumer world where you know we spend on so many things because everything is at a fingertip and everything is with the card you know credit cards line of credits and all this loans where you didn't even you don't even notice how much you're spending because you know your your monthly subscriptions for amazon prime for netflix um, you know for other programs where sometimes you don't even use them but the, the monthly deductions will keep going from your um, credit card and you don't even notice that and you know big thing the car payments rents those also like you know you feel like it's it's mandatory and you buy this car which you have to pay like monthly just the monthly payment for the car if you buy it like zero down now your monthly payment is at least three hundred dollars and if you're in Canada, your insurance, that's another 250. If you're in a bigger cities, like 350, 400. So right there, your car payment itself is like $1,000. And rent, nowadays, where are you getting the rent? What are you getting? Nothing is less than $1,000. That means your basic needs in North America will cost you at least $2,000. Then how can you really have money for investing for your future for your financial freedom you know what 
that's a tricky part because that's why why more than 80 percent of north americans doesn't make it solid in financial situation because they just end up with that day-to-day -day cycle you know you spend you make money in your job and then you spend you spend you make you spend you make so that goes on and i see i feel so bad for many people you know in the in the uh, grocery stores or you know there are older people working there i feel so bad for them because you know you haven't made the decision you haven't take took time to look into your financial situation deep into it and hey you know what i think you you haven't spent time in coming up with a plan that can change your financial situation you were in that loophole you know what don't worry not only you even me even many many people are in that situation this is the time if you're watching this video that means you're on track you know that something is not right you want to change it so that's a first step be mindful now what do you do about saving the money to come up for buying your first property yes now look at every details of your expense every details i mean like literally from the coffee from the money that you spend on coffee till the money for you spend on on the rents on on the you know uh, car because you know you can buy a car for five thousand dollars and no more mortgages so that reduced three hundred dollars from your you know monthly expense and now if you're a single person why do you need a two bedroom unit or maybe you can see you can put another person into your unit and share your cost you know be creative you know such a way that you don't lose yourself but at the same time you know you want to reduce your expenses the more you reduce the better so if you're making three thousand dollars if you can save at least thousand dollars in a month or at least five hundred dollars which is like you know 20 percent of your income now 500 dollars if you save it for three years you can come up with um, you know at least 20 thousand which is good enough to buy a property in the cities like smaller cities like windsor because as a first time home buyer you have a great opportunity to buy properties with five percent down if you don't know much about that i will put in i have made another video um talking in detail about you know what's five percent down and all those details check out this video um so in this video i'll try not to go deep into that to keep it simple you can buy a property for literally five percent down that means if you look at a property that makes that is at four hundred thousand that means all you need is 20,000. So yes, 20,000 may sound like big, but if you look at your financials, go deep, deep, dig deep down and find where, the, where you're spending much and cut it down as much as possible, now it's possible. You know, $500 if you can save a month, or maybe if you want it quicker, then save $1,000 a month. If you want even quicker, save $1,500 a month. And also, see if you can make more money because that's another thing now you can save but at the same time if you have extra time see if you can find some ways you can make money online or maybe make money doing uber actually when i before i got my first property i was doing full-time job as a software developer and also i did uber in the evenings just to add extra money into my pocket to save for my first property I actually um, bought my first property for $8,000 of my investment. That's it. Because Windsor, you know, uh, it's three years ago, the Windsor prices are really low. You know, now maybe you need 20,000. So again, I did what it takes me to get my first property. So the commitment, you need to have that commitment for a, over a long period. If you have the goal, you will automatically get it to the commitment. If you committed to it, and act on it every day you can make it another genuine reason that i heard and i felt is lack of time you know i don't have enough time to learn more about real estate and you know take a execute on what i learned yeah that's really genuine reason now let's take a step back where am i spending my time every day so you know Take, take a 
pen and paper or maybe on your phone open a notepad or there are many apps where you can track your time so within 24 hours starting from the the you know the time where you wake up from that time till you go to bed track every you know every half an hour see what you're doing you know what do you do when you wake up uh, what do you do after you take bath what do you do um, after you have your breakfast what do you do while you're driving to the work uh, if you're if you're at home what do you do um, in, in the in the break sessions um, if you're at the work what do you do you know when you're going for coffee with your friend with your colleague um, what kind of topics you discuss and after you come back what do you do what do you do in your um, you know that uh, time period after time back from work um, what do you do before you go to bed what do you do after your dinner what do you do you know there's so many things that you can track now what I realized when I actually getting started like when I was working as a software developer software developer position was like you know I have to learn constantly so many different you know technologies to be good um, to be uh, at least to be surviving at my IT job so for that I had to send, spend some time in learning I have to spend time in you know learning about the project but in the meanwhile I do had time like you know for lunch instead of taking one hour I used to take like 10-15 minutes even at that time I was like looking at my uh, phone I was reading either reading the blogs or reading books or you know looking at the properties on 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 my app i have an app where i can see the listings i will just do the analysis and i was doing quick analysis on those properties that i see and um, and same thing in the morning as soon as i wake up actually the funny thing i made another video about my day uh, in my life i even watch i, I even read book when i'm in the washroom you know um, that's again i'm utilizing my time wherever possible i'm trying to come up with the time i i believe every one of us can find time if we seriously committed to something so if you're really if you really strongly believe that real estate can you know bring a, a solid financial life for you and for your family then you have to find that time how much time are you spending on your social media you know I was surprised we think that you know oh you know what let me just quickly look go through it and after by the time you lock your phone you started like 10 15 minutes ago without even you knowing it 15 minutes is gone every time you open your phone that means how many times you open your phone it's probably more than you know 10 times a day at least so now if you turn a small switch in your brain hey you know what every wasted time now i'm going to learn about real estate if you do that i promise you within three to six months you will learn a ton sheet of things as about real estate if you will definitely be able to act on your first property seriously give it a try track every minute and see where you're wasting where you think it's literally a useless time then use that for your learning purpose seriously time waste you don't have time is an excuse but you know there are some scenarios where genuinely you're working on something really important projects you know where you genuinely don't have time for real estate you know what that's good you know that you don't have time for real estate how about if you have money then partner up with the people who has time you know that's a that's a really good way because now you know that real estate will bring a passive income and you know that real estate will grow over time you know that the appreciation and, and the mortgage pay down will happen over a time that means you will be able to um, you know don't have to worry about the financial situation while working what you love to do but building a passive income partnering with the people who are active like me you know I'm, I'm looking for partner i have a partner right now and i also always uh, look for a good partner who whom you know we can um have a win-win situation you know it doesn't have to be me because not everyone connects with me you can connect with you know someone else in your network whom you can believe who is going towards and who been you know consistent with their actions who's been consistent with their results figure out 
figure out who is doing that then just trust in them and have a partnership you know figure out the right partnership win-win partnership where you can make a good passive income you know, don't don't say that you don't have time if you don't have genuinely time then find a partner so that's the second situation that I, um, I feel but the, the third reason I feel this is a silly reason if you give it for yourself which is you lack of knowledge sorry I say that silly because we are in a generation where every information is at our fingertip like like if you just click 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 or just say hey Google how to start investing in real estate it will tell you it will give you so much information there is ton shit of information online you know that's a first thing if you don't know what to do just google ask ask people who is doing it if you have someone in your network figure out how they did you know maybe buy them a lunch or buy them a coffee or maybe go work for them for free in the weekend and say hey you know what can i come tag along with you to learn about it yeah why not if people you know if you're giving your time or if you're providing some kind of value to the other person they will help you obviously they'll teach you and online you know YouTube um, and the big resource actually when I started even now is for me like the YouTube and the bigger pockets if you haven't heard um, biggerpockets.com that's a ton of information for real estate investor especially if you're a beginner they have a, such a fantastic uh, webinars and they have a couple of books that are solid if you read those books and start attending the webinars every week man that's more than enough for you to buy your first property once you buy your first property you will learn so much from your experience and this theoretical knowledge so now you ch you, you you improvise yourself you add your personality to it and you become good at it and you know go for attend it events that's another thing yes you don't know anything about it what if you mingle with the people who knows about it you know that's why they say that you know if a dumb guy sits with a group of intelligent people now even this dumb guy will turn into a a, a genie even you know for a normal person right so whereas if a genius sits with a dumb people like you know 10 dumb people now this genius higher chances that he can convert into a dumb now that's really possible and that's what i have seen so many people you know convert into because you are there was actually a quotation that you know show me your five friends i'll tell you what what kind of person you are and that's true you in this scenario if you really want to build something for your family and for yourself if you want to get out of that rat race then find the right network go communicate with the people whom who are doing what you wanted to do you know if you want to know really more go find the people who are like me you know in your in your local city where you're um, where you're investing even if you cannot find the people like you know investors you can find the agents who are investor focused in your own city now because they have a, an opportunity to get a sale from you obviously they're going to teach you but of course there are you know um, 80 20 rule always in any industry you'll find 80 bad and 20 good so find a good one do some research see what they are doing see what they what kind of track record they have if they are genuinely uh, interested in helping people then they are the one whom you can learn from but don't tell yourself a story that you don't have this all these reasons you know because I have noticed myself when I told the stories that you know what I don't have enough time I don't have enough knowledge I don't have enough money then I literally didn't do anything but make a switch from today onwards for next 20 days for everything ask this instead of saying I don't have I don't have I don't hear of this I don't have that I don't have that say how can I find more money or say hey how can I find how to buy my first property or say how can I find a, a mentor who can help me so instead of saying I don't have it instead of giving a statement now ask a question even for your mindset you know even when you're talking to yourself try to avoid that statements wrong statements that you're feeding to your brain because 
the more you feed the more bad you feed your brain the your brain becomes bad so feed it with the right questions hey you know what i don't know this how can i do it and now your brain says oh you know what google how can you find it or maybe talk to your friends you know some people you you know you might know some people who knows the stuff that you wanted to know so make that switch happen in your brain i'm i'm tr- sure that you will change your life and you know what with that i'll take a break because i know i have talked a lot but i really hope you will buy your first property pretty soon if you haven't and let me know in the comments below if you have any other concerns that i can help you with you know let me know in the comments below and if you actually bought your first property share your experience i really love to hear if you are you know if you face this kind of situations i love to hear your story please let me know in the comments below and with everything if you like this video and if you like my content don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because if you don't hit that thumbs up button i'll stop making videos <laughs> i'm just kidding hit that thumbs up button so that youtube will you know uh, will like my videos if not youtube doesn't like my videos so if you like it youtube will like it with that have a wonderful day stay safe